Hello everybody, welcome back to Mandy Kane Lane, Mandy Reacts, whatever you want to call it or whatever you want to call me. Uh, we got Rad Gib Gilbert. I always want to say Gibblert because it's a UFC thing. There's a fighter that was called Gilbert Menendez and when they made the Reebok, the, the deal with Reebok, they made the Reebok clothes and uh, they made the jackets that they said the fighter's last name on the arm, whatever, and when it, they made Gilbert Melendez is, <laughs> it's hard to say. Anyway, it was a typo, and it was Giblert, and uh, it, it lasted for a very long time before they fixed it, because the guy wasn't that important. Anyway, I'm sorry. Rod Gilbert. There we go. That's the one. Anyway, shower gels. That's it. That's, that's the title of the video. Shower gels. A bath, right? What? I've had a few years ago. I was having a bath, right? I've had one since. <laughs> I was having a bath, right? On the side of the bath, there, just, there was two bottles of imperial leather shower gel, right? They were different. Stuff. One of them was called one of them was called Invigorate, right? One of them was called Relax. And there were different colour bottles and different colour stuff inside them. I like the way he talks. But I was just lying in the bath and I can remember thinking, oh, I bet that's the same shit in those bottles. <laughs> you know that feeling? That feeling, I was just lying there thinking, oh, I suspect I may have been conned <laughs> into buying two bottles of the same stuff through their clever marketing. I'm, I'm sure many of you here have had that kind of low-level irritation, and then you got on with your lives. Whereas I spent two and a half hours writing to <laughs> Imperial Leather. <laughs> Why two and a half hours? Because it's not enough for me to just go, Hey, Imperial Leather, you bastards! I bet that's the same shit in those bottles! Send! <laughs> that would take ten seconds. That would be... Uh, that wouldn't be so bad. No, I have to... I have to make my point in a kind of uh, sarcastic... The word clever dick isn't used very often these days, but my, I, would, I would describe my letters and emails that I sent to companies as clever dick. I was trying to make my point in a sarcastic, clever dick manner. I will read you a reply that I got from Imperial Leather. <laughs> right, this is, my girlfriend used to go bonkers about this. She'd come in the room, she'd go, who are you writing to now? I'd be like, Imperial Leather, get out, it's important. <laughs> right. She'd be like, it's just shower gel, Rod. I'd be like, shut the door, it's bloody important, shut up. <laughs> Two and a half hours I did because, because I used to make shit up. Make shit up, lie, whatever it was to make my point. Just to, to score a petty little victory. And I will read you the reply I got from Imperial Leather. It'll give you some idea of the lengths I used to go to. Uh, Dear Mr. Gilbert, thank you for your email. I am sorry to hear that our shower gels did not meet your expectations. <laughs> However, given the unusual nature of your experiences... <laughs> <laughs> I thought I would clarify a few matters relating to our products. It is true that we market our shower gels differently. Our invigorate shower gel is certainly intended for morning use. Its citrus notes and bright pack help you wake up and start the day. <laughs> Conversely, our relax shower gel with dark blue pack and lavender scent fits a soothing end-of-day soak in the tub. In your email, you say you accidentally got these two products mixed up. <laughs> it's as pathetic as it is amusing, you have to admit. In your email, you say you accidentally got these two products mixed up and used them at the wrong times of day. I would like to reassure you that using invigorate shower gel in the evening would not keep you up all night in the manner you described. <laughs> It's tragic, nor would it induce the violent side effects you say you suffer. <laughs> just making shit up just to make a pathetic point. Similarly, mistakenly using our relaxed shower gel in the morning would not leave you feeling groggy all day. <laughs> I am sorry you feel your wedding day was a write-off. <laughs> And I sympathise with the intimate performance issues you experienced <laughs> on such an important occasion. <laughs> but it is simply not plausible that our shower gels were responsible. <laughs> 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 the 
guessing is that I'm willing... That I, the lengths I'll go to, I'll even put down there that I had premature ejaculation. <laughs> just to try and pin it on a shower gel. <laughs> Moving on. Please accept our sincere condolences. <laughs> the death of a grandparent is an emotional time. <laughs> and for this to happen on Christmas Day must be especially difficult. <laughs> However, I believe you expected too much of our comforting bath foam. <laughs> I, do, I, I enjoy this paragraph. This is my favorite part. I can't believe how much he's laughing at his own jokes. That's great. Listen, but imagine, if, we certainly believe it can enhance a relaxing bathing experience. But we would not expect it to offer real emotional support at such a time. <laughs> no shit, mate. Or lessen your or your grandmother's sense of bereavement. I had literally put in an email that my grandfather had died and that night we had given my grandmother a bath with comforting bathroom in it and it hadn't raised her spirits at all. <laughs> P.S. Lynx is not made by us. <laughs> Lynx is not made by us, and you should contact the manufacturer directly if you feel so inclined. However, since you ask my... What's Lynx? Is that like a different kind of soap or whatever? I don't know what that is. My personal opinion, I think it highly unlikely that Lynx will accept direct responsibility for your grandfather's death. <laughs> Link's voodoo draws on the exoticism and mystery of the country. He lost me. The exoticism and mystery of the cult of voodoo and its marketing, but as far as I'm aware, does not claim to harness the cult's alleged powers. <laughs> I would suggest that your grandfather's untimely passing and your using voodoo at the gym were entirely unrelated. <laughs> no, you're not. Wait. Why did you. Everything just starts on its own now on YouTube. Can it just chill for a second? I need to do an outro. God damn it. <laughs> anyway, I love this guy. I love the way he talks. I, I haven't seen him actually laughing at himself and his own jokes and stuff. So that, like, that's interesting. It's really interesting to see a stand-up comedian be able to like just... I don't know. Just laugh at... like I'm, I'm so brilliant. <laughs> Which he is, man. Uh, very funny. I he lost me with the links stuff and the voodoo and the gym. I have no idea what that is, but I'm sure it wasn't responsible for any death. <laughs> anyway, uh, this was a suggestion, so thank you guys so much for suggesting that. I like this guy. I really like this guy. Um, I want to watch more of him. Just anything I can find, really. So there you go, guys. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it, and um, I don't know. I'm I'm just happy and I'm excited. I I. I get to do this it's awesome i love it um whatever you have to do guys have a great one lunch dinner eat sleep drink i don't know bed whatever i don't know it's, it's you're all gonna watch this at different times so it doesn't matter anyway guys whatever you do live life be happy have fun bye guys